Defenses and Training. Alright, today we'll be looking at turrets. Namely these three. So, let's begin with the Ballista. It attacks nearby enemies by using arrow. It's got 500 health. Upkeep cost of 15. Can watch for 12 cells. Needs two workers and two energy to function. It also needs two workers, eight energy, 20 stone, 20 iron, and 700 gold to upgrade to an executioner, which is the tower to the right. You can also, in the newest update, target priority of the nearest enemy or the highest level, highest level being the spitters or the other ones. So I'm going to use this veteran sniper to demonstrate how the great ballista works. Let's hopefully get a wee bit more from them. As you can see, it's got quite a nice range and sometimes it'll take out up to, I've seen it take up to three enemies with one hit. Right, on to one of my favourites, the Shocking Tower. Attacks nearby enemies by generating an electro pulse, electric pulse. 500 health, 20 gold upkeep, 8 range, watch range. Uh, requires 4 workers and a whopping 30 electricity. 30 energy basically. One of the highest energy upkeep structures in the game. Right, testing out the shock tower. I'm going to get the attention of as many as I can. This test kind of failed, but it, it doesn't. You, you, you'll see what I mean by that. Right, so I have a horde coming in. And it activates there. And I'm like, oh crap, what are we going to do? So I just leave it. I don't know if there's a limit. It's been very hard. I haven't really had it in the best positions to test, but I think it should take out every enemy in the radius. Every single enemy in that radius should be wiped off the face of the earth. Very deadly. Now, this is the executor. executor. It has 12, 1000 life, 45 gold upkeep, 12 watch range, requires 4 workers and only 10 energy, so 20 less than the Tesla Tower. It also can target the nearest or the highest level enemies. Handy for spitters, of course. And let's see, the costs for all of them. 500 gold, 20 wood, 2 energy, 2 workers for a ballista. The shocking tower. 4 workers, 30 energy, 30 wood and 30 stone. And 600 gold. The executor, by itself without an upgrade. Is four workers, ten energy, twenty stone, twenty iron, and twelve hundred gold. Very large investment. Worth its weight in gold, though. It's very, very good. Now, oh, yeah. let's demonstrate the executioner. I can hopefully get some of their attention. Here they come. This, it's it's quite devastating. It can take out quite a large group of enemies. Let's get a few runners on the way. Right, come on. It takes about two to three enemies out per shot. Right, on to traps. Traps are, yeah, I love them, we hate them. Some people use them, some people don't. I use them sometimes as decorations, to be honest. So the stakes, they um, they have 100 health, and the wire fence trap, they have 200 health. Now, to make the stakes, you have to research it in the woodwork shop. And as for the wire fence trap, you'll find it in the foundry as one of the options to research. Now, how much do each of them cost is the next question. I can answer that now. 3 wood and 30 gold will build you a stakes trap. And if you want the upgraded one, 3 iron and 100 gold for a wire fence trap. Right, I'm going to test them out. 
Now I know it's it's a bit hard to do a really easy test on this. I'll try nonetheless. So I've got the attention of a good lot. I'm eventually gonna have to get rid of this executor because yeah, it, I should just deleted it there and then, but I left it be. As you can see, they take a considerable amount of damage running through it. So you imagine a horde would probably be pretty, pretty low by the time they make it through. Although the damage that the wire fence takes due to this makes it, uh, it depends really. As you can see, the stakes don't deal as much damage, but they still deal about, I think a zombie standing up for a few seconds deals several points of damage, so onto a stone and a wooden gate. A wood gate opens automatically to let enemies through, it is 600 hit points. Obviously you get a refund of the wall if you place it onto already pre-built walls. Stone Gate has a considerably larger amount of health. It takes 5 stone, 150 gold to upgrade to a stone fence. Or stone gate. Stone gate costs 10 gold and or 10 wood, 50 gold, and the stone gate's 3 wood, 6 stone, 200 gold. Quite a hefty investment. When it comes to towers, there's the stone, stone and the wood tower. And stone wood wall. Wood tower has 800 health. It has a unit capacity of 4 and it gives a bonus range to the units of 2. The wooden wall is 400 health points and is your bread and butter for defence at the early stages. Stone wall has 1000 hit points and stone tower has 2000 also gives a range bonus of 3 instead of 2. To upgrade it takes 10 stone and 330 gold to get to a stone tower. Whilst stone wall is 3 wood 10 gold and a stone wall is 3 stone 30 gold. So wood tower is 10 wood 120 gold and the stone tower is considerably more 10 wood 10 stone 450 gold. On to training. Now this is the soldier center and this is the engineering bay. Soldier center is unlocked automatically in engineering bay you get from a foundry. Now the soldier center has 800 health points. Trains basic units has a health of or 400 life. Cost 14 upkeep has 7 watch range. Requires 8 workers and 8 electricity. You can train rangers, soldiers and snipers. And yeah, as unlocked from the start of the game, cost 450 gold, 20 stone, 20 wood, 6 energy, 8 workers. Oh, 6 energy, not 8 for the upkeep then. And the engineer bay, you need 20 workers, 50 energy, 40 stone, 40 iron, and 2000. You also need a research at first from a foundry. Once you do, you'll get a Lucifer, the ability to train Lucifers, and Titan. It has 500 health and takes 100 gold upkeep. And it's researched here in the foundry in that slot right there. Oh, and I lost my way. I'm back. Now, 500 defense life, 100 gold upkeep, 7 watch range, and 20 workers. 50 energy, making it one of the highest energy buildings in the game. You also set rally points. This is the lookout tower. The lookout tower provides, as you can imagine, a good bit of a good good bit of vision. 24 cells in every direction to be precise. It costs one worker, 10 wood and 300 gold. Also costs 300 gold to research in the wood workshop. It's uh, superior is the radar tower researched in the foundry. It takes quite a lot more energy and costs quite a lot more. But to upgrade, you need one worker, 10 energy, 10 stone, 10 iron, and 50 gold, 500 gold. Okay, so this is the vision of the lookout tower currently. I will place a soldier at the edge and then we will upgrade it to 
the uh, radar tower and we'll see the difference. So this is 24 cells radius and this is the radar tower. Radar tower has 125 defenses or defense life, 30 gold upkeep, 40 watch range, 2 workers and 10 energy upkeep. As you can see from this, this is the exact same vision, it provides a lot more. That soldier right there is the old radius of the lookout tower, which you can see would be approximately that distance there. Uh, four of them at either corner of your base would probably cover the entire map. Very handy if you have the resources to spare. This has been the defences and training video. Hopefully you have all enjoyed. If so, be sure to give us a thumbs up to say yo bra, I'm enjoying your videos. And if you want to stay tuned for our latest content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Plenty more videos on the way. We'll be looking at resource structures in the next episode. See you there. Bye bye.